All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS variables by building a city skyline. Step 13. So now we're going to center the parts of our building by turning the BB1 elements, pardon me, element into a flexbox parent. We're going to use the flex direction and align items property to center the children. Okay. First things first, let's get this up on the uh, board because this is, we're going to need this. Uh, let's say flex direction CSS right here. And let's come over to the uh, w, W3Schools page. And uh, you see here it says, uh, basically it sets the direction of the flex of flexible items inside the div element in reverse order. Well, that's what this row of reverse thing does. But here's the uh, definition of the flex direction. Basically, it specifies the direction of the flexible items. A uh, note, if it's not flexible, it's not going to work, all right? So the thing is, we have to say display flex no matter what, and then we're going to put the flex direction. And here's the list of the directions right here. The direction we're going to use is column. Uh, it's already in, in row by default. And then initial, I don't know what that is, but we could, we could see. Uh, but first, let's get, let's get this going. So first, let's say uh, display flex. Display flex, all right? And then we're going to say flex direction. And let's do initial first just to see. Initial. Ah, that didn't do anything. All right, let's say flex direction uh, column. Column, like that. All right, and so now it's like uh, this right here again. And then we're going to say uh, align center. What was it? Align item center. Okay, so align items center. All right, and so now this is uh, looking more like a building here. So let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 14 and we'll see you next time.